really varies. Very it can be anywhere from 60,000 a year to a couple more. Oh my god! Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Vlog. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're at Flinders University. And today uh, I want to state some facts about Flinders University before going to the video. So Flinders Uni has 26,000 students, 2,300 staff, 550 scholarships worth 2.2 million dollars in total, 500 undergraduate, postgraduate and research degrees, 5 Rhodes Scholars, 26 Fulbright Scholars, one Fields Medalist and one Australian of the Year. That's all the fast facts that you could be expecting from a, such a one of the best school in Adelaide as Flinders Uni. And today, same content, we'll be going, going around, ask university students and guess their majors. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And firstly, may I know your name and uh, where you're from? My name's Carl, I'm from South Australia. So my name is Costa. Um, I mean, year two of my degree at the moment. What was the other question? <laughs> oh, oh, where are you where are you from? I'm from Adelaide. Um, so my name's Charlie. I am in my fourth year of university. Fourth year already. Yeah. Um, and from Adelaide. So, um, I'm Jeremy. I'm in my second year of my degree, mm -hmm. and I'm also from Adelaide. Adelaide. Yeah. I am Amy, I'm from South Australia in Hove, and I'm in my third year of uni. What, what are your thoughts about Flinders University? I haven't really looked into other universities, but I like the environment of the area. It does alright because you can get here and just park and uh, come to class. Mm. The other unis are a bit hard to go to if you're not living in the city or um, if, you, if you don't want to take public transport. Mm. Um, I think Adelaide Uni is better yeah. and UniSA is a bit of a super TAFE, so I'd rank them, rank them third. Um, I think that it's good at what it specialises in. It's got like really nice grounds as well mm. compared to other unis. Like, it actually feels like a proper campus. Wow. And yeah, like other people said, the community is also really nice here too. I feel like Flinders, it reminds me of nature and I feel like it's quite inclusive and it's got a good culture here. My first question is, if you describe your major as an animal, what type of animal would it be? Um, I'd say an owl. An owl. Yeah. So you uh, wake up at night a lot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, probably just because they've got really big Aww. eyes. Aww. Yeah. So that's probably a bit of a giveaway. They've yeah. They've got good vision. <laughs> good vision. Whoa. A bit like a chimpanzee. <laughs> chimpanzee. Yeah. I think because we are able to relate to them because they're quite close to us Aww. genetically. A hedgehog. Hedgehog. Why is it so? I just like the animal, it's quite cute. Are you sure about that? I would say that hedgehogs are quite um, solitary animals mm. and I would say this degree I'm in, you could be done, like doing it by yourself. Very individualistic. Mm. Lorikeet, the rainbow bird. Oh, the rainbow bird. Why yeah. is it so? It's very colourful. Colourful? I think an elephant. An elephant? Yeah. Why is it so? because you have to know small details and have a really good memory. There's a saying that elephants never forget, so mm. yeah. Okay. So the second question is, what are the stereotypes of your major? Like a hippie. A hippie? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. They study a lot. They study a um, lot. Yeah, quite studious, studious. tight-knit. Tight-knit? Yeah, that's probably everything I'll give you. Okay. Probably, yeah, they just all want to be doctors. All they want to be doctors, okay. I think there's more females. Yes. Probably about 70 to 30 percent. We're quite introspective, critical thinkers. Yes. This is just me. I'd say introverted. Introverted. I, I, I sense there's a lot yes. of introverted people, but that could just be me. Um, I'd say they're quite um, creative. It's, yeah, definitely creative-based major. And I would say they're typically more on the introverted side. Introverted side. They're probably good at English. My third question is, what's the estimated salary after you graduate, do you think? Ooh, I think it varies. So a salary could go from anywhere between 50000 a year to 70000 to 80000 It really varies on your experience, yes. um, your level of qualification in that sector. This is very depressing. But <laughs> <laughs> Probably like 40 to, no, not 40, like say like 50 grand to 80 grand, like a medium type salary. 
Mm. I did just Google this. Um, <laughs> um, I'm hoping it should be like um, a little bit above 100k. 100k. Yeah. Was it because of high of demand in Australia specifically? Um, demand actually. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, the wages are falling. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen jobs about 100,000 a year. 100,000 a year. Yeah. Mm, that's so that's the highest you could expect. Uh, yeah, that's what I've seen, yeah. Mm. It really varies. Very it can be anywhere from 60,000 a year to maybe a couple more. Oh months. my god. Yeah, of the human body, the yeah. human brain, the human thought, human behavior. Oh, psychology. Psychology. Oh, there psychology it is. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Wow. So, what's your exact major then? It's media and communications. Oh, media and communications. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Is it your dream um, major? <laughs> yes, it's my dream. We're out here achieving our goals. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I couldn't no. guess your major. What is it? You can't guess it. I'm yeah. studying biodiversity and conservation. Oh, biodiversity. Oh. oh. Well, studying plants and animals and plants stuff. And animals? Yeah, but it's very broad from any, like, anywhere from doing statistics to doing, like, you know, outside in the mm. field. Man, don't pretend you know. Come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, top uh, sorry. Optometry? Optometry. Yeah. Optometry. Okay, okay. So, okay, I'm going to guess all majors <laughs> relate to each part of the body, okay? Yep. Is it, like, dentist? No. Doctor? Yes. Doctor. <laughs> yes! I got it, I got it, I got it, right? Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Don't do drugs and drink your water, kids. No, I'm joking. Study hard oh, yeah. and do what you can do and prioritize your time. Use a diary. Use a diary. Yeah, seriously. Yes. Use a diary. It's like a to-do list. Put, put due dates, yeah. put your put your topic down and yeah. put tasks that you need to do each week. Yes. Put assessment times because... The uni semester, it's breaking up into two bits. So yes. the first half of the semester, the second half, the second half goes really quick. And yes. all of a sudden, you'll feel like you're in exams, mm. but you have assessments along the way. Mm. Put, your, put your stuff in a diary, yeah, and you'll be able to keep on track. Wow. Do you have an like, Instagram or something so I can tag you on this video? Jeremy.jjlt. It's Amy, B-U-N-N-I-K. Yeah, it's underscore Katie underscore rug. Yes, okay, thank you so much for participating in the video and and I've learned something new about a new major today. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much.